This week on Senfo TV, Environmental Day, a discussion on how to stay local, a meeting to discuss the First Street Pedestrian Improvement Project, the return of ASU Downtown's Humanities Lecture Series, and Dave with all the week's best live music. Welcome to Senfo TV. I'm Jackie Johnson. And I'm Dave Verkaiser. So somebody must have told a friend about Senfo TV last week because Dave got a puppy. Puppy. This is Crash. Say hi, Crash. So this is about all that we've been occupied with all week, but uh, you want to get on and see what's going on next week? Do yeah. This Monday, February 1st, is Environmental Day at the Arizona State Capitol. From 10.30 to 1, there will be speakers on the House lawn to discuss the deep cuts to parks and other programs. They'll have tables, chairs, drinks, and desserts, and you just have to bring your own lunch. After the discussion, they'll go inside to be introduced to the House and Senate as a group for the hearings on natural resources that's being held. There will also be people on hand to help you set up a one-on-one -on -one appointment with the legislator. And Monday evening at 5.30, there's a free discussion on keeping it local at the AE England building at the Civic Space with author and economist Michael Schumann speaking. Wednesday, February 3rd, is the first of three stakeholders meetings to shape the First Street Pedestrian Improvement Project. So if you'd like to have your say on what happens on First Street between Van Buren and Moreland, head over to the Irish Cultural Center at 4 p.m. At 7 o'clock at the Phoenix Art Museum, there's another discussion on designer Jeffrey Bean, followed by a short film about Mr. Bean. Thursday, February 4th, is the first of a new weekly music showcase at the Civic Space Park called Lunch Unplugged, where you can take your lunch, sit in the park, and enjoy some of our best local music live. Thursday evening at 6 is the first of the 2010 Spring Humanities Lecture Series at ASU Downtown. This week's lecture is by ASU's own Jewel Parker Rhodes, who will discuss racism, African vampires, and the legend of New Orleans voodoo queen Marie Laveau. And next Friday, February 5th, is First Friday, and you can check back next week for details on some of the events and exhibitions that are on display this month. Now here's Dave with all the best live music in the Valley this week. Friday, January 29th, that one guy will play an early show at the Rhythm Room, Black Carl the Sail In, and the Necronauts will play the Yucca Tap Room. Sunday, January 31st, New Found Glory and Saves the Day will play the Marquee Theater. Monday, February 1st, the Rhythm Room will host a pretty big rockabilly show featuring Pat Roberts and the Haymakers, the Booze Bombs from Germany, and the Rhythm Dragons from Phoenix. Tuesday, February 2nd, the Bower Birds will play the Rhythm Room. Thursday, February 4th, the Brown Tones will play the Lost Leaf. Friday, February 5th, Boulevard will play the Martini Ranch, Designer Drugs will spin at Club Sanctum, and Yellow Minute and Coats and Villa will play the Yucca Tap Room. Saturday, February 6th, Tierra Del Fuego and Brent Miles will play the Ice House Tavern. New shows was announced this past week. Ray Davies will play the Dodge Theater March 23rd, and the Eagles will play U.S. Airways Center Wednesday, April 21st. That's it for this week in music. For all the bars, bands, and links, just click on the music link at senfo.tv. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget you can subscribe to us on iTunes and YouTube, and you can find us on MySpace, Twitter, and Facebook. And you can send your comments and suggestions to senfo at senfo.tv. And this week, for every friend you tell about Senfo TV, Senfo gets another coffee shop. <laughs> TV. What was the? <laughs> <laughs> no. What was that? <laughs> Said that really weird. Weird. <laughs>